It's Doc with HackingJungle.com and today I'm going to show you how to do a 12 volt fan mod. First thing we're going to do is we got our fan and what this basically does is once you do it, um, the fan's already a 12 volt fan but it runs at 5 volt speed. We, <coughs> we uh, connect it to an alternate power source, we run it at the full 12 volts. It's a little bit louder but it'll always keep your Xbox nice and cool. Well, first thing we're going to do is to get your fan, you're going to cut your red and your brown wire. Just like that. And then on this one, I don't know how well you'll be able to see, there'll be a tutorial on HackingJungle.com. This is the wire you're going to want to split. Right down the middle. And I use old speaker wire, or a roll speaker wire I got. Um, I've been using it for a while. I do a lot of these fans um, with the repairs. Um, I only use one side of it. I split it. And basically, um, I don't use wire strippers too much. I just heat it up with a lighter a little bit. And just enough to get it. You get a nice, good... Uh, different people do it different ways. Um, you can use wire strippers, of course. Um, I just prefer the lighter. Get all your ends. Melt every one that you split. Basically, on the fan, put these two together. Connect it to one end. A lot of people use clips, things like that. I used to. I like uh, shrink tubing. Cut off a piece. Stick it on there. Melt it. Get a nice little deal there. Put the other heat shrink tubing on before you connect the other end. Obviously, if you don't, you're not going to get it on without so having to take it apart. And basically, that's it. You just connect it just like you would. Your ground's back on, get connected, and this gets connected to the DVD drive. It doesn't cause any issues as far as uh, running the DVD or anything like that, and it'll keep your Xbox always at room temperature.